Hello, in this problem we are going to find the derivative of this function. So h of x here is f of x times g of x over, and then we have f plus g. And the question is to find the derivative of h. So we're going to use the product and the quotient rule in this problem. So let me just refresh your memory on both of those rules, and then we'll just jump into this problem. So first we'll call the product rule, it says if you have f times g, then you take the derivative. Think of f as your first function and g as your second. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So hopefully a familiar rule if you're watching this video. And then the quotient rule says if you have f over g and you want the derivative, think of f as your top function, g as your bottom, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared. So these are the rules that you need to use in this problem. So once you know these formulas, you can actually do this problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So h prime of x. So we have to start with the quotient rule first. So it's the derivative of the top, which I'm just gonna leave it as the derivative of the top. So it's fg and it's the derivative of the top times the bottom. So f of x plus g of x minus the top. So f of x times g of x times the derivative of the bottom, so f prime of x, running out of room here, plus g prime of x. Don't worry, I will come down here and write it a little bit neater over the bottom one squared. Let's just check our work. I'll zoom in here so you can see really quickly what we've done. So we've taken the derivative of the, of the top, which I haven't actually taken the derivative, I just wrote that I'm gonna take it, times the bottom, minus the top, which is here, times the derivative of the bottom, which we went ahead and did because it's really easy, right? F prime plus G prime over the bottom one squared. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out. Let's come back down over here. And now we're just gonna actually take this derivative here, okay? So H prime of X, okay? So this is the product rule. So F is the first, G is the second. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So that is the product rule. Then we still have all of this, I'm just gonna write it out. f of x plus g of x minus f of x times g of x. And then here we have uh, f prime of x plus g prime of x. And all of this is over the bottom one squared. So parentheses f of x plus g of x squared. Okay. So now we just have to clean this up, so it shouldn't be too bad, h prime of x. Let's go ahead and distribute, so I'm gonna do this times this. That's gonna be, I'm gonna write it with the derivatives at the end, so it'll be f g f prime. So f of x, g of x, f prime. And then this times this, so it'll be g squared f prime. So plus g squared f prime. Now this times this, it'll be f squared g prime. And then this times this, it'll be fg g prime. Okay, might be easier to like omit the x and just like write f prime and g prime. I just thought of that, but it's too late now. I've started by writing the x's like, just like, like we did up here, you know, that might've been cleaner, but oh well, live and learn. So now we're gonna distribute here. This times this, it'll be minus fg f prime. And running out of room, minus fg, g prime. And all of this is over the bottom one squared. So a bit messy, but just a lot of bookkeeping. You just have to be careful. Some stuff should cancel. Let's see. Uh, we've got fg, g prime, fg, g prime. Oh, well, good, that goes away. fg, f prime, uh, fg, f prime. Very good. So we're left with g squared f prime plus f squared g prime all over this piece here. So f of x plus g of x, and this is squared. And that would be the final answer in this particular problem. So not too difficult, um, just a little bit messy. Uh, I think if I had to do this again, I would have written it maybe like this. or sorry, maybe, let me just write it nicer. 
And then it's a little bit easier. H prime, it's the derivative of the first times the second, or the top times the bottom, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared. And then proceed from there because it's a little bit cleaner. So you've got this, right? Derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top, derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared, typo. Um, and then compared to this, right? So this is messier than this, but yeah, in any case, that's the correct answer. Hopefully this video has been helpful to someone who's studying some mathematics. Good luck.